What is going on my peeps? Your boy Versatile is back with another video. Back here talking about the one thing I've always wanted to do with my tablet, which is connect my phone to be able to receive my phone calls and text messages on my tablet. And that's via the call and text feature for Samsung devices. So what I have here is my Galaxy Tab S6 and the new Galaxy S20 to showcase this to you. As far as I know, this feature should go back to like the S9, if not like whatever device has one UI, at least 1.0. Uh, so let's get into it. But before we do, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoy tech, Funkos, Marvel, all that fun stuff. Now let's get into the video. So upon getting into the video, let's go ahead, let's get the tablet started. She should be ready to go. My phone matches my wallpaper. What we want to do is we want to start off with the phone first. Make sure our phone is logged into our account. And I'm just going to use my fingers for this. I'm not going to take the S Pen off the back. So taking this beautiful S20 off the f palette here. If we go in and log in here, if we go to settings, I want to say, I think I'm going to do this the easiest way. If it's not in advanced, yes it is. So it's in advanced features and settings. So I'm on dark mode right now, but if you see, you see here call and text on other devices. So what we want to do is actually turn that on. And then what it's going to do is activate here. So call and text on other devices. Use this phone's phone number to make calls, send texts, and more from your Galaxy watch, tablet, or speaker. So by hitting connect, now what it's going to do is it's going to switch to the switching to this phone with turn off context on other devices on S, yes, yeah, switch. So because I don't have the S10e anymore, I have the S20, it's going to switch its capabilities to this phone right here. Boom, and use mobile data. And linked devices will be the Galaxy Tab S6. So now that that's connected, I shouldn't have any issues. Let's see here. Now, if I put the phone down, uh, Okay, really? And we come on over here to the tablet. If we go in here, click, click in here, go to advanced features, and we go to call and text on other devices. I turn it on and click on it. Connect it to Galaxy S20. So it shouldn't, in theory, have any issues. So I think what I want to do is, what do I want to do? I want to see, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can send a text message to my phone and see if I get it. All right, so what I did was I went and grabbed my wife's backup pixel here and the phone that she just never uses the doggone brightness on. So if we turn that back up there so you guys can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find my number. All right, boom. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and send myself a text message. Hey, now I sent it. Now, upon, I should receive it here soon on one of my devices. Now, granted, I do have Do Not Disturb on right now, so I don't know if that's gonna be a big deal or not. So, let me swipe. So, okay, so it pops up there, hey. And you see right there, it pops up, hey, right here on the tablet. So, when I send or get text messages on my phone, I can now get them on my tablet just like that. And the beauty is it it emulates what it seems to be so far pretty well, Apple's ecosystem of the iPad integration with their iPhones. Uh, and all you gotta do is use your mobile data or your basically use your phone. As, and even though my tablet has a data connection, which makes this possible probably, you know, since I can't use uh, mobile networks down here, since my phone has it, it should just send it straight here because it's connected that way. So nice feature to have. And if I hit mark as red, now it's gone. So that's even better. So now that lets me know whenever I get rid of notifications on my phone, I can get rid of them on my tab. It'll disappear on my tablet and vice versa. So that is something that I find very neat, very uh, useful because one of the things that can get annoying sometimes is having duplicate notifications on all your devices. And at least in this case, if you have a Samsung tablet that has this ability and a Samsung phone that has this ability, it kind of makes life easier in that way. And that's why I, I was hoping to really get a phone to kind of utilize that feature and show you guys firsthand the call and text on other devices. So I hope you guys appreciate it. If you guys uh, haven't tried using already, go ahead. It, it works, as you guys see here, flawlessly well. 
And let me know down in the comments if you plan on using it now that you guys have seen how it works. And I got something in my... <clears throat> there we go. So, that's it for this video. Hope you guys appreciate it. Enjoy it. Again, if you haven't already, ignite that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed or when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you got, that way you guys get informed when I drop videos. But that is it. Again, for this video... Your boy Versatile signing out. And until the next video, I gotta learn how to close better. Wait for it.